before we get started into today's video, I want to give a big shout out to Rocket Money for sponsoring this video. And on top of my spending habits, thanks to Rocket Money. Rocket Money is an app that you need to save your money and manage your money better. This personal finance app helps you manage your subscriptions, lower your bills, helps you build a custom budget, and grow your savings all in one place. I've been using Rocket Money for a few months now, and I will say this app holds me accountable for any purchases I make, subscriptions, any trials that I sign up for, because it shows me all my reoccurring charges, how much I'm spending every month. I actually found out a few months ago that I had two Hulu accounts that I was freaking paying for that I didn't even know I had. I freaking love this app to help me cancel all these unwanted subscriptions. They safely and securely identify reoccurring charges. You can even cancel within the app with just a couple of taps. Don't need to worry about customer service calls because we all know how dreadful they are. Like I said earlier, they even help you lower your bills simply by uploading a photo of your bill and tapping a few buttons. Rocket Money will negotiate your bills for you. From internet service to cable to phone bills. Another feature that is my absolute favorite is their budgeting feature. You get notifications every time you exceed your spending limit. That will hold you accountable if you're saving for a car, you're saving for a house, you're saving for something. Oh, and they also have a saving feature. Take control of your finances today. Go to rocketmoney.com slash Evelyn Ortiz to get started for free. Get the tools that you need to achieve financial freedom. Now on for the rest of today's video. Welcome back to my channel. It's Evelyn here. If you're new here, hi, my name's Evelyn. I film fashion beauty and lifestyle videos so if you want to see more of that make sure to subscribe and turn on your post notifications but if you're already subscribed hi guys welcome back so i was taking a look at my house my house is getting plain it's not getting cozy it's not really getting home it's getting black and white to be honest it, it's friday it's currently 5 p.m and i'm gonna go to home goods tj maxx marshall's ross we have photo frames we have plants but i want to add some nice curtains in the living room Look, look at those two chairs, so cute. I love that vibe. I'm gonna go for like a wood, greenery, some brown. Like I really like these chairs too. I do have a similar one in our bedroom already. These are cute. I wanna buy an extra nightstand because we only have one on one side and I feel like it would feel a lot more cozier if we had two, one on each side and then matching lamps. This is cute. Yo, babe, look at these chairs. Stop, these are cute. This looks nice. I like that one. 129. Oh my god. I don't really like that. I like this lamp. 89. So cute. These are like living room doors. These are cute though. Interesting. I really like this green one. Look, I really like these little side tables. There's this darker wood. And then there's this lighter wood. I don't know what price though. I kind of wanted something like this to put next to the couch. 130. Wait, really, the wood? It's weird. Maybe the circular one. Or maybe I'll find like a black one better. Right now we're just gonna window shop because. Go to the washing washers? Yeah. Just like a big table like that made our way to Ross. They actually have a lot of really, really cute things. Look, these are glass. Old, but I did find these little wood ones. I think I'm leaning more towards this darker brown more than this one. This reminds me of school. I don't know how to explain it. And I just kind of like the legs of this. I just really wanted something high to low to kind of embrace the big walls because I really did not know what to do with the plain walls. I really wanted to put portraits up, but I'm like, I'm not really into it being like just there in the middle. 
I think I want to just put portraits around the staircase. And I just feel like these curtains are very much hotel inspired. I don't know, whenever... Why are you mad at me, bro? It's not my fault. Stop! Why are you mad at me? I'm not mad, that's okay. Just, I'll, I'll make food for you when I come back. Okay. Last night, okay, sorry. Last night, I went to Cane's with my best friends. My boyfriend saw that I went to Cane's with my friends. And he's like, babe, can you bring me Cane's? Like, after you're done eating, can you order me Cane's? That way you bring it to me. I'm like, okay, babe, yeah. Anything for you, you know? That's the least I can do. I order him his canes and then I take my canes to go because I'm like, hmm, I'm not too hungry right now. I'm going to save it for the morning. I had two chicken tenders left. I came home, I gave him his meal and I left my leftovers on the table. I didn't eat it because I specifically left it for the morning. This morning, I wake up and I grab my box and I open it and I put it into the microwave and I take it out and there's only one little chicken tender like this like this and I look at it and I'm like you know when you save something for the next day and you're just looking forward to that and someone eats it I turn to him I'm literally in the kitchen and he's literally on the couch and I'm like did you eat my chicken tenders? Did you eat my canes? He's like, oh, oh yeah, I forgot. You saw me get the box, you saw me put it into the microwave, and you didn't tell me, hey babe, I ate one of your tenders. I would have been okay with you being like, oh, sorry babe, I was really hungry this morning, so I had a tender. I would have been like, oh, okay babe, I understand you were hungry, but you saw me get the box. For me to eat only fries and a chicken tender this small, oh my god, so that's why I'm mad. That's why he said, don't worry babe, I'll make you full when I come back. Guys, I'm mad as fuck right now. That's why I'm drinking coffee. I don't even drink fucking coffee. I'm drinking coffee because this is all we fucking have because we don't even have fucking snacks in this house. We're in an ingredient household now, so there's nothing I can fucking snack on except fucking coffee. Back to what I was saying, yeah, oh my god, this lighting is way better. Guys, I did not decorate for a whole year because I was just very decisive with how I could decorate. I don't know what it is. So I never had a home that I could decorate. Like I feel like when I live with my mom, like there was no way around decorating or live when I live with my dad. I had a very small room, so I feel like I couldn't really do much with it. And so now that I have my house a whole year, it took me a whole year to be like, yeah, bitch, I gotta decorate. Like this is my home. I have a house and I have to make it into a home, you know? Have you guys seen that one tweet or that one quote that's like Children with unstable homes don't have big dreams They dream big of having a home or something like that So yeah, I feel like this is this has always been my goal After I saw that tweet, I was like, wait, that's like looking true Like this is what I've longed for Because I never had a stable home growing up I was always jumping from my mom's to my dad's to my sister's Back to my mom's, back to my dad's, to my sister's So I literally never ever had a stable home and it's like now this is my stable home like i have to cherish this like this is what i long for this is what i worked for so we had to decorate it we should go baby girl yeah so yeah i'm just really really happy that oh my god i'm about to start crying we have these beautiful taupe couches they're like this gray brown we went almost a whole year without couches we barely got these couches a while ago we had actually ordered these customized couches, but it ended up working out. So we had to end up buying our own couches after waiting like nine months. I really wanted a black couch, but as soon as I saw this couch, I was like, whoa, this matches our floors perfectly. I don't really like gray flooring. I feel like it makes the house look very unwelcoming. Our door is very cool tone. It's like a blue a cool blue and i just feel like the bright white curtains just makes it a lot beautiful and we do have blinds do you guys want to see how it looks with the blinds open yes okay and if you guys know you know i hate bright spaces brightness actually hurts my head a lot and it overstimulates me very badly i can't concentrate when i'm in bright lighting i love darkness and i feel like these curtains help me a lot because we don't have direct, direct bright lighting, 
The white curtains help mute it a little bit, which I really like. But we also have that window back there too. We also have this little island that we built. I found this on Wayfair. It's super cool. We actually used to have this island next to the kitchen, but we like having the open space in the kitchen and then the seating back there. But I do really want a dining table, guys. I feel like I'm kind of over the whole island thing. And I really like that these couches are sectional, which is so cool. And they even have storage. Like, like we have a bunch of shit in here. Like, our dog stuff, our Disney ears, our hats. Like, very too goat -y. All of these couches, they all move. So we could move these around. So if we have guests, we could literally make, like, a little square. We could make a big L. We could make a big straight line. Super cool. I'm in love with these couches. You're beautiful and so functional. Guys, I've also been obsessed with Desperate Housewives. That's literally what I'm binging. Okay, first off, I got a chunky knit blanket. It's the perfect white color that I was aiming for. Kind of like, you know, something like that. Can you can you even see it? It's right here. Yeah, you can see it. Yeah, I just think that's cute. Oh my god, this is heavy. Okay, let's open up the dimmable floor lamp. because my windows are open look how cute i had it on the medium setting right now and i really like the height of it but this lamp is so cool so this is off and it has like this little switch where you can like dim it super bright or super low but yeah i really like it on right now i feel like it makes the living room look super cozy but yeah guys that's my little makeover Super cute, right? Oh my god, I'm loving my house. I love that the stairs are very black and white. I don't know what it is about it. It just looks so pretty to me. So these frames are for mixed tiles. I think I'm gonna buy three more just so I can add one there and then two more up there to make it six. Here is the top view we have of the portraits. But we're gonna go up so I can give you a little tour of what's going on. And then over in the hallway, first you see our wall of pictures it's like yes guys this is the guest bedroom aka alondra's bedroom i honestly don't really like the curtains yes! here you guys remember i bought that from i bought it from ross so that little wood table looks super beautiful in here and i put it next to that plant i have and then i bought that little planter from tiktok shop but right now i'm gonna put on their comforter something a lot cuter maybe something white maybe something beige and nothing on my walls except that mirror and that little frame so these frames it's actually a little set but it literally fell off <laughs> it fell off like three times in the middle of the night super loudly so i think i'm gonna swap them out for some mixed tiles i just bought new curtains we're gonna make them higher and wider i bought a new bed frame on amazon as well as new nightstands so excited for my bedroom makeover are you excited baby Alright guys, so Evelyn fell asleep downstairs. We just got home. This is the room right now. Yes, my beauty room gets this fucking dirty, but I always make sure to maintain it at least once or twice a week. I deep clean that hoe. 
I hope I'm inspiring somebody to clean their damn room, okay? Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Thank you very much. Okay, guys, ya limpié mi cuartito. And she is all clean. She is all organized. I'm actually in the middle of laundry. I'm going to give you a mini house tour. I'm not going to show you all the rooms, but I am going to show you what I have kind of decorated and fixed. Here's my vanity. I have all of my makeup. And I have this really cute chair. I have Sherpa furniture all around. So I actually got this one from Amazon, I think. And then I have like leopard pillows all around the room. My theme for this beauty room is all black. But so there's like a hint of leopard. There's a hint of pink. It's cross rug. It has like leopard on it. I actually got that when I first moved in. So throughout the time of me living here, I've already incorporated a lot of leopard, a lot of pink, a lot of black. But I really wanted my room to be black. I like the black theme. Y luego acá arriba, I have my new little sunglasses. If you guys have been watching me for a while, you guys know I had the sunglasses over on my shelves, but I don't know. I feel like over here it looked way too empty, so I decided to put them up here, and I feel like it looks very nice. Over on this corner, aquí tengo mi jewelry. I have the Coraline dolls that I got for my boyfriend and I for our anniversary. This little Dior box, because I just got some new heels, and I really like the box, so I decided to use it as decoration. Over on this side... I have this big gold mirror. Actually, it's not big. It's pretty small. I have this gold mirror that I bought when I first moved in, but I didn't read the measurements exactly. I thought it was going to be a big mirror. It ended up being super small. I ended up buying this coat rack because I feel like I had a lot of oversized bags and I didn't know where to put them. So I have a lot of my Sweetly bags. I also have this Sherpa bench. I used to have this downstairs, but I figured that it looks a lot better here because it actually matches that chair. And of course, I have my little leopard moment and everything. Oh, someone's texting me. And then you guys all know this wall, this beautiful wall. This is my handbag collection. Always get a lot of compliments on my handbags. Thank you guys so much. A lot of these are actually gifts. My friend's family know me so well. I love collecting cute bags. I love collecting rare bags. So yeah, you will see a lot of really, really cute vintage bags in there. Of course, my little perfume towers i also love collecting vintage heels super cute super cute slay i get think on these washers so i actually need to fold clothes right now and then in here i have my personal restroom i actually use this as a guest restroom that's the office we're gonna skip that okay we're gonna go into my bedroom guys i'm so happy with how my bedroom turned out if you guys remember the curtains were ugly as fuck ugly af I ended up finding these beautiful curtains on Amazon and I told Brandon he needed to make them higher and wider because he's the one that put in the last curtains without really telling me and yeah no I had to say now so these are actually blackout curtains as well it's very dark here in the morning this morning I woke up late because I didn't even know the sun was out I'm also gonna link everything on my Amazon storefront I have those cute portraits I think I got them from Ross this mirror is also from Ross. And then that light. I need to buy like a cute little decoration. You know, you know what I'm talking about? Those little things that go around the bulb. I need to buy one of those, but I got that from Amazon when we first moved in. I got us new nightstands and we ended up getting a new bed frame, which is very soft. I actually want to put this in the middle though. Brian doesn't want to, but he's not here and who's going to stop me? Nobody. I really like having it in the middle. Just gonna kind of the symmetry. The walls are plain right now. Love how tall the curtains are. It makes the walls look a lot more beautiful. But yeah, literally look at that on the portraits because look at how beautiful the curtains make the walls look. Like it embraces the tall walls. Here's the final result with the portraits. I love the cream with the black and the little earthy tones. It's so cute. I'm in love with my bedroom. Everything you see here is from Amazon. I'm going to link everything down below in my storefront. If you don't see it, it's either from Ross and Marshalls. The pillows and portraits are from Ross and Marshalls. But yeah, I'm in love. My favorite part of this new decorating series is the living room. Just like this. Look at how beautiful. I love the mood in here. I love the vibe. And I actually went flower shopping recently. Look at these beautiful lilies I got. These are so pretty. We have that plant right there. And the tall curtains are beautiful. I feel like it just makes the room look a lot nicer. The lamp. And yeah, I actually put my Roomba to work today because it was so dusty. I love it. I'm very happy with my house. I'm going to cherish this. Like, girl, this is my first big girl place i moved out a year ago i actually love building stuff i don't know what it is but i love building stuff it like
puts me at peace. Thank you guys so much for watching my house makeover, turning my house into a home. It is a lot cozier, especially now that the holidays are coming around. I feel like I feel like I needed my little safe space, my warmth. Let me know if you guys want me to change anything, add anything. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget, I do $100 giveaways in each and every video. All you have to do is like, comment, and subscribe. I announce the winners on my Instagram. Make sure to check out my description. I'm going to put my Amazon store for it in case you guys want to shop my home. Okay. I'll see you guys next time.